all right welcome back what we did in the previous video is to install both ios emulator and android studio emulator to test our application and that's all what we did in this video we're going to create our first or second application we launch it with the tools you created and we dive in into the folder structure in react native so let's get started so let's head over to our terminal and let's execute the command expo init that is for creating react native application and the name of your application you make it app 3 you can name yours whatever you want the next step is that you need to select blank and then give it some minutes for you to install we will come back when it's finished installing all right finally it has been created the next step is that we need to cd in to the project that you have created as you can see here cd app 3 so i will say cd and the name of my application and let me clear my console if you are using vs code you can make use of this snippet code and then period dot and then hit enter if you're not using vs code you can open it manually in your preferred code editor but i suggest you should use vs code because it's a nice tool right so let me make my font bigger to visualize what we have done and let me rearrange my terminal well let me put this one here right and my code here perfect good so let me enlarge it as you can see or you can see it well so now let me make it a little bigger again so with this let's go through this folder step by step and after that we will launch it for you to see what we have done so the first folder is called expo shared and this is an expo internal folder you don't need to pick in there or here so next one is a assets this is where we we store any assets we may want to use in your application like images videos fonts and icons and node modules these are all the packages we have installed that make up expo and react native whenever you install using npm a new package installed it gets added here inside this one right this folder should never be checked into source control right you don't need to put this one to source control and next one is a dot git ignore this one and dot git ignore this is a file to tell dot git that um, which files and directories we want to omit from source control okay and the next one is an app the main entry point to application this is where you will start adding code right and the next one is app dot chasing this is another config file mostly for expo metadata and Babel and other stuff. You used to add the expo preset. We come back to this when you're trying to deploy your application. And we have <coughs> package.json file. This is where you, you, you list dependencies and add scripts. For example, how to run your application or are in this package.json file. When you say that um, <coughs> npm starts, it will start your application or yarn starts, right? That is a, where we have all the scripts. And then yarn. You might not have this, but I had yarn installed, so Expo added all my dependencies using yarn. All right, now that we have gone through all the folder structures, let me make it a little bit smaller. And the next step is that let's launch our projects. All right, so let's head over to our terminal here, and the command I'm going to use is called Expo Start or yarn Start or npm start but i prefer to use john so you can use any of this command so we expo john start sorry if you're using john john start npm npm start and hit enter and it will call expo automatically as you can see it has opened here nicely for me and on the terminal as you can see we have some qr code here and we can visit this link and we can view what we have done and we have a couple of steps here to run the app choose one of these so you can test 
you can run your application on your native phone if you don't have android studio or ios simulator we can use expo app right so if you're using um, android you can go to android play store and download expo app and then you open that app you will see a scan code and then you scan this qr code and you see your application live on your phone or if you are using ios you can also download the app from play apple store and then as soon as you open the app store use your camera to scan this qr code and you have it on that but we want to test it using our tools we installed that is android emulator and ios simulator so if you want to run it on android emulator first step try to open the app the application android studio right and after you've opened it right you select configure and then fvd manager right and you select the virtual device you installed so you click on the play button okay it says that mine is already running right so when you have that one click on that and it will open something like this let me show you what i have here mine has been crashed don't worry yours might be working well so i have it open here like so so the next step is that you hit a command called a for android if you want to open it on an android emulator press a and as you can see opening on android on android right and as you can see in the console here too you have a couple of yeah so i have to refresh my app this is how you refresh it command m if you are on mac and control m if you're on windows all right so you can even click on this refresh button here and as you can see it is building up the javascript file as you can see building javascript bundle and within some couple of second you will see it open for the first time it takes some seconds or minutes to get launched on that all right so when you head over to what is um, launching head over to the terminal again sorry if you scroll up you know this one this one yeah okay let's wait it's 84 percent 90 and quickly let's see what we have all right let's see boom now you have it now let's run the same thing on ios for ios we don't need to open the um, s code application you don't need that all what you need is type in i for ios as you can see opening as you can see automatically it has open here and this might take a moment because for the first time that is how it works all right so let's wait for it to open too and as you can see within some couple of minutes or seconds it's also um, building the javascript band bundle for us and within some minutes or second 38 percent and quickly 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 <laughs> all right so while we are waiting the next video we are going to start diving into the real code of react native but before we, we, we go let's head over to the code and let's change, make some changes click on the app expand it as you can see i'll take you through all these codes don't worry and let's change all the text here and make it my first app perfect save it and let's see on the sorry on my both devices as you can see that refresh automatically so in the next video we will start diving in and making our hands dirty so thanks for watching